Hello, my name is Trey Bailey, and I'm here to showcase a prototype that I worked on for a week and a half. Uh, there were two goals with this prototype. The first was to create a third-person character controller. I've never done so before, and so this was definitely an adventure in that regard. Um, the model and the animations that she uses are imported from Mixamo. I'm using Cinemachine for the camera. Um, and I have a phone that you see right now and a tablet imported from third parties as well. Uh, here are the credits on that. So the, the second goal of this prototype was to create a proof of concept of something that I've been thinking about. So, um, if you're familiar with the Void VR, uh, these are physical locations where uh, pre-built levels are constructed and players can traverse them in VR. Uh, so it's fully immersive. Um, they even simulate heat using heat lamps and, and things like that. So the way this prototype would work is they would have a room that's entirely made of pillars. And these pillars can raise or lower um, and so the technician would queue up a level. Uh, let's hit the hedge maze. There would be a safety zone. The player would walk into the safety zone and um, somehow they, there would be visual or uh, weight detection or something like that. And the, the level is built around them. Of course, uh, the pillars wouldn't be this close. There would probably be a three by three grid as illustrated before. Uh, you don't want to move pillars uh, right next to the player if you can help it. Um, but you can definitely chain levels together, um, the starts and ends of levels. I don't actually have any examples of that, but this is pretty close, I think. Yeah, okay, so I was like right there. Um, and so you would step into the zone, and there's another level. So something like this here could be an elevator or a raising platform, raising lower, lowering platform. And once the player is in the zone, the level can be semi-static. That is, this zone could be static and the rest of the level can change to imitate what would be on the next floor or the destination floor, whoever, uh, wherever that may be. So... Um, the last thing I can show you is not really part of the proof of concept. That's pretty much the idea. Um, but it's to showcase the falling and landing animations. I spent a little bit of time on it, so I, I, I kind of like the way it's set up. It's a little off, I think, but, um, it's pretty close without this being an actual fully fledged product, that is. So you have a, a shallow incline, a steeper incline. Here's the falling landing again. And uh, here's something that would actually be the start of a building in, a, in an actual level. So this could be like a library or a museum or the like. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, on the back end, the levels are saved using JSON. So you have the name, the, the dimensions of the level, X and Y, of course. Um, and then you have the spawn or save point. And so what's happening is each level is being populated row by row. And it's being saved row by row, too. Um, however... What will happen is if this here is actually one full row plus a pillar. So if this had 80 pillars in a row or 80 pillars in two rows that were the same height, it would say 80 instead. Uh, so a good example of this is the test level, which is just flat. 
has 2,500 pillars at ground level. So you can see how this could actually turn into um, a decent system. Of course, someone might come up with a better system. I came up with this in like a day. <laughs> so it's probably not the most compressed that it can be sometimes, but um, it's a good it's good enough for the proof of concept. So uh, with that, that is actually it. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care.